to find and use Copilot in Power Automate Desktop. Click the Copilot logo up here in the right corner. Now we can ask Copilot questions with our own English words. For example, how to open a website, do a search and web scrape the table based results to Excel. So a fairly simple task, but if I'm a beginner, I don't know how to do this. We can also ask Copilot about more complex stuff. Now we get a step-by-step -step guide to create it. Currently, this is in preview, so you'll need to do this yourself. And this is not where the strengths in Copilot Power Automate Desktop lies at the moment. Let me show you how powerful it is, because I prepared another flow. And this is just a flow with three set variables at the moment. A project path that links to a project folder on my desktop. We will take a look at it in a moment. And also two variables, Excel 1 and Excel 2. That will be the two Excel books that we want to automate. Let me show you. So the project folder is at my desktop. I will have the Excel 1 and let me also open up Excel 2. So what I want to do here is that I want to compare these two. I want to find the unique rows to merge these and then I want to output them to a third Excel book. Fairly easy because we only have three records in each table, but imagine this was a larger data set that we want to automate. Let's use Copilot for this and this is extremely powerful because Copilot is exceptional in the scripting part. And here to find that, you'll need to go to scripting and here you can see the different scripting methods. We can use Python, JavaScript, or even .NET. Copilot works in the five uh, first ones. That is everything except the .NET. I'm sure the .NET will work in the future. What works extremely well in Power Automate Desktop, that is the run VB script. VB script is Visual Basic Script. It works extremely well with Excel and other Office applications. You'll often use it as an RPA developer, but then you need to write the code. With Copilot, we can just generate it. So hit generate script with Copilot. Now with our own English words, we can describe the task. So I do this, I'll say read two sheets in different Excel workbooks, find it unique rows and output them to a third Excel workbook. Save and close the Excel. Now I can hit generate. Copilot will take anywhere between 10 and 30 seconds to generate a working script. Now I don't have to do anything more. I can just use the script that Copilot gives me. This is where the power is at the moment. Copilot is still in preview. And here you can see that it generated the script. This code is generated by Copilot. Let's say that I am uh, satisfied with this. Then I can say use this script and it will get inserted in my VB script. You can see that Copilot even commented with a comment here, that is the single quotation marks. And if I do this, just to make it a little bit bigger, here is my script. And what I need to do here is that I need to um, change this one here. And that is the path to the first Excel. And we created that here in the Excel one. So I simply just mark it. I hit the X up here in the variable picker. I double click the Excel one and now my variable got inserted into the script. I do the same thing here with the second one. So I just do this. And then for the third uh, workbook, I also need to save it. That one will be down here. So what you just need to look for is these placeholders like C path to workbook tree. And here, let's say I want to save it in my project path. I do this and it will be called workbook tree. We can call it result, for example. So this is all you need to do. Just uh, put in, fill in the placeholders and this code is generated with your own words. I can hit save, then I can click run. This will take like five seconds. Then uh, we have a result 
And if I go back to the project folder, you can see we now have this result.xlsx with the unique rows. This is how efficient Copilot is. If you want to set this up yourself, that is set up Copilot in Power Automate Desktop, I created a complete guide that will create environments, the preview installed, and everything. Just watch this video up here.